hello everyone welcome back to my unity open world tutorial series so in this episode i'm going to work on this so when i jump while i'm standing still i play this animation and when i jump while i move in it plays a different jumping animation like that this uh, when i stand in still this and also if i am at a place like this that animation with the same input so yeah all right so those are the things i'm going to work on today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so at the moment in my jump it uh, looks like this see uh, it doesn't look very nice it doesn't look very active for the character so let's try to improve it a little bit so actually I have this in my character I have developed the jump in as a bunch of states you know like this so I'm not going to use that approach because now that I have implemented the way a way to anim play any animation without being a state here using this custom animation slot uh, the state so right let's see how does our original animation of jump it looks like we have yeah i have divided the jump to three parts a start loop and end but uh, let's take the complete jump in animation for now it's like this also right now let's open our character script and the jump input is here when i press space a i have defined it in the players player input i call the jump animation in the character script so this is what I do so yeah instead of doing it like this I'm going to change it a little bit so let's go to let's see what we do in the character moment I just add a force upwards that's what I do but the problem with this approach is I don't have much of a control here uh, that means let's say if my character is in a place like this and if the character want to jump to this platform then the, I should drive the character in a controlled path like this so the character should have some idea where he is going to land so that's ne it's necessary to have that kind of a control if we are trying to develop something like a parkour system where we would have variable distances between the places that the character want to land so therefore i'm going to change this approach of jumping a little bit so like this uh, let me comment these parts for now and then in the character script let's see what we do in the character animation also uh, all i do is this set trigger part now instead of doing that i said i wanted to go for a different approach so yeah i made this anime clips for testing let's create like this public animation clip jump 
jump panel right uh, now I'll assign that jump animation to the script where's the character animation oh, right here for the jump animation I'll assign this jump animation and then when uh, when I call jump function in the animation I'll just play uh, let me comment it this part and play custom animation jump any that's what I want to do let's see what happens now if I try to jump Just like before the jump in animation is played like this all right uh, now let's see what happens if I play that animation while moving actually it looks better than before okay good uh, but we are not really moving the character upward here but we will fix that in a moment um, right now I'll delete this jump in instead I don't need it anymore and also for this world state too I have I have actually I have a state here so let's replace that state also with the characters with the new feature with this play animation clip and Please note that we have to address this stuff like now in the previous approach we had like jump start part and jump loop part and jump end part. So there is a reason to have them is like when we what if we jump from uh, maybe a ledge. So for those reasons we had these things but I will fix them in a new way. For now let's uh, uh, let me replace this word part. So this is also I'll comment and I'll add a new variable public animation clip full anim. and in the voting a custom animation for any now let's assign the word animation part like this And let's see if everything works. Yeah, just like before, everything was works. And yeah, now when I am in a place like this, I can't get up. We do have to fix that. Right. Now I'll delete this state to better. My state machine becomes very simple now. So we can keep it only keep this only for 
stuff with uh, blend trees all right now the next thing is how to deal with places like this when I want to climb up how to do that right so for that let's do something like this we need to identify the landing position after the jump uh, but, uh, before that let's uh, try this so this actually this jump animation is not suitable when my character is standing still it is only suitable when I'm moving that means when I am running uh, so that uh, when I am standing still an animation like this should be played so I'll download this without this key and let's import that animation into here uh, this is jump I'll rename it running and this one I'll rename jump in place I did the rename in the other monitor you didn't see that right jump in place so for the rig I'll assign humanoid copy from other avatar where's the avatar this one right this is the animation okay and uh, now I'll in the character animation I'll define two variables I'll name this one I'll rename this one jump running I'll add this same one jump in place like this and then uh, I'll define another variable maybe a boolean pole running no let's just say let's just add a float moment speed actually we do have the moment speed somewhere ah we have this character to get velocity no let's just do it like this and then no let's do an int that's better int jump type so i'll add a case no switch using jump type is zero oh is this a way to define all oh, right okay zero break okay 
no case if the case zero then I should play jump in place and I'll add another case jump running if the case is one that means I'm working now I don't need this okay now in the character where's the jump where's the jump here yeah, here under character animation let's do something like this Oh, actually, I have this moment more defined here. Um, I should have used that. Do I have a yeah? I have a way to get the moment mode. Great. Now in the animation controller, instead of this int, I'll use moment mode mod and I'll do the switch in moment mod oh sorry based on the mod and case would be oh, wait 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 working running swimming sprinting no that is not going to work because uh, even if i am in the running moment state i could be standing still because i'm not uh, giving any run inputs so yeah sorry we can't go use that approach let's revert the changes and here let's uh, get if carrot the moment get velocity oh no I think I have an I already have a get velocity function here yeah if get velocity is larger than let's say 0.1 Okay. then I'll call jump zero sorry jump one else jump zero Let's see. Did I assign the new jump animation? No. Right. Uh, this is the jump in in place. And where's the other jump? This is the jump running. Okay, now let's see that in action. Okay, we need to fix the animation. All right, let's see the settings of the first animation. Rot transform rotation. Uh, what are the settings for this one? First one is body orientation, original center of mass. Oh, no, I have enabled baked into pause also. Let's see. Let's enable those things and see. right it looks much better now
now when i am not working when i am working i play this animation and when i am not working i play this jump animation also and if i am at a wall i play this animation when i press the space with the same input i have multiple functions right and i think i can stop this episode at this point so yeah uh, in the next episode i will address this problem if i am in a place like this i can't jump up on this platform so let's see how to fix that all right so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club the link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye